strange shuttle design. Common engine, but the style's not in the registry. I'm tracking some life forms ahead. Alien invaders? No. <sighs> we'll look for them. Well, hello everyone, and I bet you weren't expecting to see this when you looked at your YouTube inbox this morning. Yes, 18 months down the line, I am Boomer, and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2. I suppose an explanation's really in order, shouldn't it be, since I've been away for 18 months? Well, first of all, when I was going through the original Star Trek uh, Elite Force 2 LP, um, first eight or nine episodes, uh, first of all, first shiny thing by the time we get back, um, my computer or my desktop PC at the time pretty much decided it didn't want to render videos anymore. Uh, I was getting blue screens, I was getting all sorts of crashes. And I had put on the time that I wanted to maybe either upgrade, get it looked into, but at the time I also changed jobs to one that was a lot further away from home, uh, my commute increased an awful lot and in reality I just didn't have the time to uh, come back to the LP and the other side was that because I had a malfunctioning computer as well it felt like it was taking two or three days just to get one half hour video out and really that was just way too much for me to deal with so I just decided to shelve the project until I could actually come up with something a little bit better. Uh, we're just coming up on a cutscene, but I will come back to it in a little bit as we enter these mines. We're with the Federation. What are you doing here? We're investigating an attack on the space station. We hadn't heard about any attacks. Are we in danger? We wiped out the aliens. You should be safe now. Good. The invaders came from this planet. You know anything about that? We saw no aliens. Why are you here? We're researching the ruins here. Our hypothesis is that this planet was an Idril outpost 3,000 years ago. Where are these ruins? Further ahead. We lost contact with our three archaeologists there. We sent an armed search party, but lost contact with them as well. Now we have no weapons. We'll look for them. Be careful. The outskirts of the ruins have been infested with brood fiends. Well, nothing like a good alien infestation to get us started, so we'll deal with them as soon as we can. I don't know, there's something about the Idril where I'm not entirely convinced about them, I have to say. Uh, let's have a look at what they're talking about. These environmental conditions are making it difficult to properly use our equipment. We'll need to figure out a way to adapt our systems to account for the increased temperature. We must carry on as best we can. I wish the others were still here. Well, nothing too much to talk about there, I suppose, so let's head on into the mines. So, back to what brought me back. I mean, number one, I do enjoy all the LPing, etc., but again, the time wasn't right for it, but I got my computer looked at recently uh, because it was just playing up more and more and more and it turned out that my video card, which was a GTX 770, had pretty much just given up the ghost. So, uh, just activate this console. Main power offline. Oh, great. The locking mechanism's on the other side. That search party must have wanted to keep everyone out. Or keep something in. Good job, Monroe. The parts of this structure are very unstable. I'm surprised this place is still standing. I've located the main entrance. I'm transferring the path to your tricorder. So, Monroe doing what Monroe does. So, yeah, my uh, graphics card had died completely, and that was pretty much why the PC was working, but wasn't working well. Uh, because while it was on a processor rendering, everything was fine, but the moment it switched to the GPU, everything just went completely and utterly to hell. So, 
Obviously, worst component pretty much that can fail on your computer at the moment, thanks to everyone who's farming um, cryptocurrency for that. But um, put the money together and uh, ended up putting a, a GTX 1060 in. And so it is an upgrade, it was probably due anyway. And with that, I think I should be fairly stable on this. Now, my, I am still in the same job I was offered it. Initially, it was on a contract role, but now I'm at that position permanently. So, my time is still somewhat limited, but I'm hoping that with the fact that my PC shouldn't be blue screening or doing anything else untoward for a while, I should be able to definitely finish this LP in fairly quick, uh, fairly quick time frame, because uh, I have all the footage recorded, edited, etc. I just need to do the commentary and final render on it and that was one of the things that was so frustrating that I couldn't uh, I couldn't complete the LP because it was really only the commentary that needed doing on it. You can see me looking around a little bit confused here about what I need to do. Oh! Game did it for me. Great. And we have a substantially weak looking pillar there. I'm sure that that will come into play at some point. In fact, round about now. Yep, Munro continues to break things in his age old tradition of completely breaking things. I mean, usually he breaks himself in these games quite well as well, so. It's only fair that he gets to break other people's stuff as well. Oh, you can see there's a golden starship behind there. Do I get my love for shiny things? I do, so we've got that. You can see me doing a few jump cuts here, mainly because I spent, as far as I can recall, it has been a long time since I played the game, but I spent an awful long time on this level getting turned round. So, for your viewing ability and to make sure that I don't make this 500 part LP, I have just decided to cut out all of my pointless wandering. You'll notice I've got the arc gun out. The arc gun is actually very good against the enemies in the early part of this level. I think the enemies actually might stay the same. The assault rifle is also fine as well because currently it's using the normal ammo refill whereas the arc gun uses hydrillium and we don't have access to that currently. Oh good, spiders. Everyone loves spiders, but these ones are fairly weak and one shot from a shotgun. Even at long range, as you can see, that did for these quite well. The assault rifle is more of a shotgun, it's a bit of a spray and pray weapon, but uh, you'll generally kill what you need to. At least until you get to some of the more uh, some of the more sturdy enemies in the game. Back okay, here, and there is a door, so we will walk through this door. And there you go. We have some adrillium, so now I feel fine switching back to the art gun. Oh, it's only fifty. That's not too much. Ah, yes, these things. Okay, let's get that restored. So yeah, we went through all that to try and get back into the to try and get back into this area, at least get everyone into this area. And of course we're following the classic Elite Force meme of you send your team leader in to do everything because why would you, you know, why not engage your team leader when you really don't have to? probably could have been a little bit more strategic about using the uh, Idrillium explosive thingy there, but hey, weak enemies, not really that bothered. And here we come back out to, I believe, where we knocked over the pillar. Meanwhile, a little bit of platforming to get back, maybe? Ugh. Okay, I'll just go the long way then. That's fine. Be like that. Oh, these 
these are the bigger ones, and they're a little bit more of a problem. Oh. Maybe not. In fact, definitely not. Is that the best they've got? Doubtful. I think they're just testing us. So we passed the test, right? Now they leave us alone, right? Quiet. Stay alert. Oh, Chell, I do love your misplaced optimism. Let's face it, you're ten minutes into a brand new mission. When was the last time that an away mission ever lasted ten minutes? Although I suppose if you went back to my final Unity LP and you saw the uh, Horse 3 away mission, you'd actually think, yeah, that's probably the only away mission in Star Trek history which did only last ten minutes. It was literally a case of, let's do this and go. End of story. So, as usual in these games, push buttons, good things happen. I wish it was that simple all the time. There's another one. And once again, my teammates decide to run in front of the guy who's holding a really big assault rifle. I honestly don't know if that's changed over the past 10 years or so since this game was released. I can't say I'm a big FPS fan. Um, play this one because it's a Star Trek one, but haven't ever really got into Call of Duty or anything like that. Yeah. 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 That's tough. They seem to have adapted their strategies after the last attack. They're smarter than they look. Oh good, intelligent bugs because that's what everyone needs and I don't know if this is the first time we've ever seen this but it's actually an idrillium dispenser rather than just picking up the uh, power crystal type things that we have anyway let's get lost for a little minute and I guess we'll head up the stairs and continue with the mission or we'll just continue getting lost and fly a while yeah, standard FPS logic, if you see an enemy, that's the way you need to go, because you haven't cleared them out yet. Monroe, wait! This pathway's highly unstable. Use structural integrity view mode, and watch where you step. Understood. Hazard team, wait here. I'll cross and find a safer path. What was that I just said about the hazard team leader being the lead scout, the lead engineer, the lead everything, pretty much? And so here we go, uh, into structural integrity mode, and yeah, the floor will pretty much just disappear from under you. But there is also a secret in this area, so let's shoot out as much of this as possible. And probably fall a couple of times as well. Oh no, of, co of course I never fell there, I didn't have to edit that at all. But you'll also notice that there's a weakness in the wall down there. You can even see that one. They've made that one blatantly obvious, so... Yeah, keep going. Shoot out everything. I'm just making sure I've got literally everything at this point. That's not good. Box falls from the ceiling. Shoot that box. Oh, apparently I'm not in range for my phaser to shoot that box. Oh. It's a bit dodgy there. Making sure by jumping into the wall there, and there's our golden starship. So no, I wasn't completely messing around for absolutely no reason. We needed that. We really, really did. So, my usual aim is going to be for this LP. Oh, look, another golden starship down there. My aim for this is going to be to have a video out every day or two. Keep the, uh, keep the train going. I might put out a few uh, in the meantime, just to make sure that... Uh, I might put up a couple on a certain day, maybe at weekend or something like that, just to fit with my schedule. 
um, see if I can stagger them for standard release or something along those lines but for those of you who have stayed who have either subscribed I have noticed that the channel has for some reason at least stayed stagnant over the uh, last 18 months and I can't thank people enough for sticking with it um, hopefully this doesn't cause a massive wave of unsubscriptions but you never know um, but thank you again as I said for staying with it and I do intend to keep doing things uh, I might tailor things a little bit more to um, either demand and things that I like there has actually been or something that I would like to discuss is there's been a new uh, game release called Star Trek Adversaries which is at least appears from first glance to be sort of a cross between Hearthstone and Star Trek yet another attempt to revive the um, Star Trek digital or Star Trek trading card game although in this case it's a digital card game in the mold of Hearthstone and um, I'm looking forward to giving that a try I'll certainly give it a try on the channel I've played a few games of it it seems certainly interesting at the moment and uh, I think that it'll be a uh, I think that it'll be a really good uh, thing just to look at because it seems to fit my interest and I think that the more you're interested in something the more you can make it interesting for other people if you're just playing it just to literally do the game then yeah it's not a uh, you know you're just playing the game because Matt it's there you're not going to be producing the best content you possibly can and at the end of the day as much as uh, you know as much as I like doing LPs I like to make them as decent for you guys as possible so see if we can try and keep it in that mode for everyone Life signs, Chell. They've been dead for several days. I guess we found the Idril scouting party. Well, that bodes well, doesn't it? Uh, so, if we get this wrong, we are going to end up being dissolved in a load of spider acid and eaten alive, probably. Lovely! Well, maybe not alive, because they were dead, but you get the idea. It's not going to end very well for us. I'm not a big fan of spiders, anyway. Oh, holes in the wall. Welcome to more, I suppose. Well, I guess these things aren't technically spiders, are they? Because they've got four legs, so they can't be spiders. Well, that wasn't the biggest welcoming party ever. Cover me while I crack the security code. Ah, I see. So this is where we're going to get the welcoming party. Really? Just these things? Okay, got it. Let's go. That didn't take very long. Oh, oh. Boy, sneaking up on me like that. And for once, it didn't take Chell 500 years to crack a code. I'm very, very surprised about this. Anywho, let's get motoring. Motoring? Motoring, even. Oh good, more ruins. Oh, it's a bridge, maybe. So, uh, looks like a pretty broken bridge to me. The power relay for this energy bridge is on the other side. Wait here. I'll activate the bridge. Yeah, you keep doing you, Monroe. So, I felt it might be useful for everyone to know why we're here on this planet. We're here to try and figure out why a bunch of alien sort of creatures attacked an attraction space station and there seems to be some kind of link between the Idril and the Atrexians that certainly the Atrexians are trying to hide. The Idril are very... Uh, I say the attractions are trying to hide, and we haven't really got the Idril side of the story yet. Um, I would say there's something a lot more to it than what the attractions are telling us, which is basically uh, the Idril are just a backward people, and uh, something. Yeah, there's not really too much for you to worry about, just keep leaving. Oh, more brutes. Yeah, the uh, 
it seems like someone is sending what do we say aliens with impulse engines built into them to attack to certain targets so seems something that the Federation would want to get involved in even though I believe that the attractions are neutral they're not part of the Federation just going back up here to refill on health before we go back down and see if we can uh, move onwards. Good job, Why, thank you, Talcia. Always nice to hear from you. Well, specifically, as I decided to reactivate the channel, as it were, keep going, uh, when I looked at Star Trek Adversary, certainly, it's certainly a game that could lend itself to streaming or something along those lines if I felt that that fitted a little more with my schedule than the uh, sort of editing play, although I do always like to do the edited play, so I'd like to hear some feedback on if you guys would like to see some of that. I'll certainly do an introductory video, so you can see what the actual game looks like and if there's any interest drummed up in it. It's still in early access at the moment, so it's not one of these games where it's by all means solved or I'll have to do a lot of catch up at the beginning. So it'd certainly be something that I think you guys may find interesting, and if not, then we can move on to something else. But once I'm done with Elite Force 2, I'm certainly open to suggestions. Not thinking of committing to too much at the moment, because obviously my job role is still away from home, etc. But with, hopefully, I mean, assuming this video goes up, if it does go up, you can pretty much... Uh, take it as read that my PC is now back in a form where it can happily edit and uh, record videos and if I do have that back then this is certainly something that I am perfectly happy to continue to do on a uh, sort of hobby basis pick a game but what I will probably do is similar to what I did with Elite Force 2 no not wait for 18 months to complete the game what I will probably do is finish the game first sort of in the background while I'm editing my like previous game or something like that finish the game and then I can bang out the videos in a fairly short period of time rather than doing part of the video then waiting for a bit then not having time to play etc I like to be as prepared as I possibly can for an LP so at least there's only one thing that I have to do uh, recording live is potentially a thing but uh, for most games I tend to aim my LPs to be slightly more towards the quote-unquote educational side and if that's the case then um, I would prefer not to have 500 million deaths or that way things just go blatantly wrong because I think they can be very boring to watch as well Oh, I opened the wrong door, didn't I, here? But yep, Queen Bug. Although, not too difficult to uh, deal with. I'm making a hideous job of it, but uh, yeah, she's not really too tough to deal with. Just keep giving her the uh, art gun shots, dodge whatever she shoots at you. She doesn't move. So. She occasionally brings in other bugs, but... I'm not really doing too well dodging these shots, am I? But there, there are other buttons than forward and back, but never mind. I tend to find when I play these FPS games or something like that, I tend to be, uh, I tend to be getting used to the controls right up at the. Wow, took that one in the face. Right up at the point where I finish the game and then I just lose all skill at it again. Uh, things fairly similar with free space when I play that. Uh, I tend to be absolutely rubbish at it when I start the game and then I get slightly better, better and better. And by the time I finish the game I'm actually, I would say competent at it rather than good. And then I move on to something else, I lose pretty much all the skill and have to re uh, relearn it again. Blue Planet of Here we go. Uh, free Space or Blue Planet is definitely something that I am looking to revisit. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I have a full-time job. This channel is not something that I do for an income stream. Um, or at least a, a, a serious income stream. So, you know, I'm not going to uh, do something just because it gets me views, etc. If it gets some form of engagement, I'm happy at that. 
and uh, hopefully you guys will stick around and watch my uh, content in the future and as I said I'm always open to uh, I'm always open to suggestions it doesn't have to be a Trek game can be something uh, I enjoyed Mech Commander when I was playing that there are certainly other games I can do obviously um, I may not be 100% top quality but I will try and make good uh, at least good quality video for you so it's not over edited. Homeworld I'm also looking at revisiting. I don't know if I visited that in the first but I'm certainly looking at visiting it because it's one of my favourite franchises and uh, I may look into that for you guys as well. But the reason I came back here is you noticed that I only had four out of the five secrets and yep after following this trail round you can see where I appear to be going absolutely nowhere. If I duck into this dark cavern Yep, not sure how you're supposed to find that at all on a first playthrough, but that is where that goes. And then we just have to find our way back. Yep, five out of five, and now it's time to descend into the lower areas. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's good to be back, and I will see you next time.